Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, with another insanely looking puzzle, the so-called Axis, made and designed by Radamic Puzzles, or Radek Mikopoulos to be exact, in Czech Republic. And look at this puzzle, what a beauty. This looks so insane, and also the feel of this all metal or all steel cage is just stunning. The cage is made out of a stainless steel tube and these cutouts are made by a laser cutter. Then we have the headshock here inside, which is, I think, made out of aluminum. And also we have something which, which is very unique here to this puzzle. And these are these two bearings on top on the bottom of the puzzle. It's a so-called headshock puzzle. That means we need to somehow get this little headshock, so-called headshock here, this ball with the spikes outside of its cage and then put it back together. I already mentioned the bearings, there's one on the top and one on the bottom, but they are somehow special. They are not standard ball bearings, they are self-aligning ball bearings. And that means, just as a short side note, there are two rows of ball and these surface, the running surface, where these balls are in contact with the outer ring, they, this, surface, this surface is not flat, it's like a concave surface. So there is a small concave shape here to this outer ring, which is holding these ball bearings inside. So you cannot just take it out. The ball bearings are catched by this concave shape. And there's something very special to this particular type of bearing, because this bearing is able to compensate for angular deflections between two shafts. So just for explanation, if I have a shaft here and I have two ball bearings, just imagine to have another one over here, then these two ball bearings need to be exactly aligned that this shaft can run in these two bearings. With this self-aligning ball bearing, the advantage is we can have two shafts with an angular deflection relative to each other. So you can also run a shaft that's for example aligned like here and another one that is aligned over here and they are deflected now but still the ball bearing can rotate and also it can be deflected in all possible directions and still function as a usual ball bearing okay something very special and actually i have no idea if this has any function here in regards to the solution but we will for sure find out just for a short lookout for the future, I got also another puzzle here from Radamic and this one here. In addition, I also received a small gift from Radamic puzzle, which was this one, a classic remake of an original Hedgehog from 1941. Thanks a lot to Radamic puzzles. And they all have different difficulty levels. So for example, this one is a four, this one is a three, this one was a three also, and this one here is also a level Four, one of the newer ones obviously if you look at the label and it comes also with some rules here that say remove the headshot out of the cage non-violently okay i think that's that's clear the disassembly of the bearing is not a solution so in case we just somehow able to disassemble it i have no idea how this should work but if we are able to do it this is not the solution we need to get the ball out without disassembling any of these two bearings. I will try to solve this thing after the spoiler break. So let's just have a closer look now on this insanely looking beautiful puzzle. And then I can show you my first attempt trying to solve this one. So, okay, let's just have a closer look and I have to admit I'm a little bit clueless here on how to start with these puzzles. I'm not really a hedgehog expert. So, um, let me just look at it a little bit more in detail and see. The Redemic Epic I reviewed of Redemic puzzles some weeks ago was surprisingly different from a usual hedgehog and maybe here it's the same, I don't know. If I look here inside the cage, I can see that not all spikes here of this hedgehog are the same length. So it seems, so there is a long end over here, a small end over here. And then if I turn it around, it's the same here. There's also a long one here and a short one over here, but there's a third one. And on this one, the two ends are the same length. You can see it, I try 
let us show it to you. And here the two ends, this seems to be the only one where the two ends are the same length. And usually with these hedgehog puzzles, you just try to find a gap here on one of these exits where this little ball fits through. And I cannot find, let's say a possibility over here because you can see that the ball is in diameter bigger as the gap. And that means that it cannot escape in this position. Same over here, same over here. I don't want to press too much to not scratch the ball here because it's from anodized aluminum. It will for sure get cut here on these steel edges and also not here. That means to me I cannot get it out over here because usually you need to um, arrange these hedgehogs in a certain angle and then twist it out, get it here through this cutout, but it's obviously not working. So it seems to me like these bearings here really have some kind of a function in regards to the solution. It's also a little bit oily still. Yeah, there's some oil here in the bearings. Can you see this? I'm sure if this is visible, but there is some oil in here. You can smell it, you can feel it. Gives it a nice touch. So let me check out if the ball fits through these holes. If it somehow can twist it out. No, it cannot fit through this bearing. No, it's not, okay. So from first point of view, after analyzing it, it seems to me the most likely solution would be to somehow use the twisting effect here of these self-aligning bearings and twist it somehow out. Um, I also just noticed that these spikes can rotate. I'm not sure if this is, for example, oh no, they cannot all rotate it seems. This one is fixed. There's another one here, which is completely loose. And there's another one here, which is fixed. Okay, and I think I just found one important detail. Maybe I can push it. I mean, it's, it's definitely loose. Maybe I can push it through. No, but let's just try it as it is right now. So if I just put it in, put it in like so definitely cannot get out. Mm, let me just check something. If I could push it in, because it's just blocked here, down here you can see, if you look inside here, you can see it's blocked. The pin down here is blocked. Prevents it from being rotated. Let me try some other configurations. This looks maybe a little bit better, I'm not sure, but still impossible to twist it out. Maybe I can get two of them through here. No. Hmm. In different configuration again. But if I have a, one of the big spikes down here, you can see this will not, this will definitely not fit. There's much too less space. So maybe let me just check this pin, which was loose again, to see if it's okay. This is the loose pin here. You can see I can easily twist it. Ah. Okay. I think I got the point now. I cannot push it through. I can twist it and there seems to be a thread inside of the aluminium and oh yeah this is clever there is a thread in aluminium and it means I can twist it out no I cannot twist it out but I can completely twist inside here one half of the ball and that means now oh yes I think I got it already that means I can put this one inside here like so and now Let's see if I can twist it out. I think it should work now. No. Yeah, come on. Wow, you see how, this, how precise this is made? There's no gap at all. It twists even through the concave surface of the bearing. Insane. And I can... Come on, please. I'm very sure this is the solution. Wow, I get nervous. <laughs> Let me just... No, I cannot... There's a small piece missing here. This must be possible, otherwise... Ah, okay, 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 okay. Let me try it this way. Get it back, down. Oh, now it's blocked. Oh man, this thing it looks so beautiful and it's so satisfying to handle, I tell you. Ah, I 
Okay, now I got it down again. And I think I might need to orient these pins here in a way that they are somewhere where I can get it out. I mean, someone also got it in, so uh, that must be possible to get it out also. And here we go. Oh, this is so fine-tuned, I tell you. Here we go. This is the solution. And here you can see the feature with the moving spike. Man, this is so clever. This is very creative here, especially with these ball bearings. A solution I like very, very much. It's not the most difficult puzzle. I would give it maybe a three, maximum of five for my personal difficulty rating scale. Even if it did not took me too long, I think the solution can take you a lot of time if you don't notice here that this pin can be rotated. This is the trick I think you need to understand that you can move this pin and as soon as you got this point, it's obvious that you need to get it through this top of this bearing or the bottom area and twist it out. So let me just get it back in to complete this puzzle. I put it here on the top. Oh, what a beauty, huh? What a beautiful puzzle. Insane. You put it on the top, then you carefully twist it back in. And I tell you how this ball here is just sliding through this concave surface of the bearing. This is insanely made. Very well adjusted. Well played here, Rademic Puzzles. It's back in position and that was the solution of the Rodemic axis. And maybe it's called axis because of this small axis here. I could just screw in and out. I don't know what's the reason for the name. If you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this puzzle. I think this was really, really a very beautiful solution. And I was kind of lucky here to find it that quickly. I think you agree on that. Let me know in the comments what you think about this puzzle, about this episode. And of course, leave a like, subscribe to my channel to support me in the future. I really appreciate if you do so. Check out my Facebook channel and my Instagram channel as well. Until next time, keep on puzzling.